Hey guys, Mr. Parsons here with another book talk. So I read a lot of books and sometimes when I get done with a book, I put it right back on the shelf and I never think about it again. I either didn't enjoy it that much or um, it wasn't memorable, but there are other books that stick with me. They've made a place in my heart or in my mind. And I find myself thinking about them sometimes days, weeks, months, or even years after I finished reading them. And this book, falls into that category for sure. I will be thinking about this book for a long time. So uh, this is the incredible graphic novel Flamer by Mike Carrado that recently came out. It was released in September of 2020. Um, so it's only been out for a few months. And it would not surprise me if I saw a copy of this book in a bookstore in a year's time with a bunch of medals on it because it's won a lot of awards. It's that quality of book. Um, so what makes it such a compelling read? Well, it starts with this guy right here, Aiden Navarro, who is the protagonist and main character in the story. Now, Aiden has just finished middle school when the story starts, um, and it's been a bit of a bumpy road for him. So um, he's Filipino-American, so his racial identity doesn't um, fit with the, what he considers normal for the rest of his classmates. Um, he's a little pudgy, a little soft around the middle, and so he's kind of sensitive about that, and, and he's been bullied a little bit about that. And um, as we discover, and as he discovers throughout the course of the novel, Aiden is also gay. And so that, that um, awakening to that aspect of his persona um, is really kind of a central tenet of what the book is about. Um, so after this rough middle school experience, Aiden is trying to decide, does he want to go to a Catholic private school or does he want to go to a public school? Um, he's been bullied a lot in middle school. He doesn't know where he'll fit in the best. And he decides to kind of leave that uh, decision on the table while he goes off to um, uh, Boy Scout camp. Every summer, he's a member of Boy Scouts and he goes to a camp. Well, at this particular camp, um, he is away from his friend group. Um, in particular, he has a best friend who he writes letters to, um, and he is kind of really struggling. And that's where this book kind of really begins to shine. So as Aiden is struggling with all of these doubts and insecurities swirling in his head and, and this kind of awakening um, that he's going through to his sexuality, um, he starts to struggle mentally and psychologically. And so the book um, takes a very interesting look at what that looks and feels like for one particular person, Aiden. Um, so he develops a, an interest in one of the other boys at the camp. This is also driving um, some of the insecurities uh, that he's feeling and, and adding a layer of depth uh, to the story as well. I should mention that. So just an incredible, incredible text. I'm going to show you now what the text looks like. So you can see it's uh, beautifully illustrated. And this violet that you can see that he's writing this letter to from camp, um, this is really a cry for help for me. He's, at this point in the story, um, he's, he's been bullied and, and he's, he's at this camp and he's really struggling. He writes, Dear Violet, I wish you were here right now. Your best friend is having a crisis. I had this dream. Elias was in it. It kind of freaked me out, actually. I've had several dreams. Sometimes I'm awake, too. They're kind of messed up. I'm worried there's something wrong with me. I know we always say that we are friends because we are weird, but what if I'm, like, really weird? Please write back and tell me you'll still be my friend, even if I'm weird. Lilas Aiden. So... This book is about accepting and loving yourself no matter what, and the fact that you have to lean into your personality, whatever that may be, and accept yourself, um, and that the world will, has room for everybody and, and every type of person. It's an incredible read, and I encourage you to check it out. This is the graphic novel Flamer, and I hope you like it.